I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. So Kirk Cousins, man, <laughs> I'm so tired of seeing that guy speak after games, right? Oh, yes, seeing him in the pressers, every presser after a bad performance, a loss, he's always saying, oh, the same old Kirk statements. Oh, we got to improve, got to get better, regroup, watch the film, et cetera, et cetera. Guess what, Kirk, Guess what, Kirk Cousins? <laughs> the jig is up, bro. Now, you know, you try to give Kirk Cousins the benefit of the doubt, right, the whole season, you know, the whole off season. Yeah, you understand his weaknesses, <laughs> his lack of mental strength, right, him reverting back, him not completing throws, getting rattled under pressure, being Kirk Cousins, but you're trying to be give him the whole benefit of the doubt the whole off season, right? Oh, Kirk can get it right. You know, Kevin O'Connell, the quarterback whisperer, he can elevate his game once again, take it to another level. But Kirk proved again, man. Kirk is Kirk. <laughs> hey, Kirk Cousins, how does it feel to get 40 mil and not even earn it, big dog? Yeah, I repeat. <laughs> Let me reiterate it. Kirk Cousins, how does it feel to be making 40 mil and not earn one penny of it, bro? Once again, Kirk always shows his true colors, especially in March. They put him in the quarterback. He looks like, oh, this guy, oh, good husband, good guy, et cetera, et cetera. But at the end of the day, Kirk plays the game, especially in March. You know when Kirk Cousins shows up? He doesn't show up in the big games, big moments when big throws or plays are needed. Oh, no. But Kirk is there in March offseason when it's time to negotiate. Kirk Cousins is front and center, front line, right? <laughs> You can depend on Kirk to talk about that contract. I'm so tired of the piss poor BS from Kirk Cousins, man. I don't care about him being into something called a quarterback. You understand? Okay, he's a good family man. Cool. What does he do on the field? How long does he continue to get away with robbing the Vikings? Kirk Cousins takes blame as well. Majority of the blame right alongside Kevin O'Connell, bro. <laughs> Kirk missed three big throws <laughs> after seeing the interception to KJ Osborne. That's on Kirk. The hesitation, the throw behind that, behind KJ Osborne, right? Threw it behind him. Even though KJ could have gave more of an effort. I mean, damn, come on, KJ. Man up a little bit. <laughs> and side note, KJ Osborne is not a number two. We seen that clear today. We'll talk about that later. He is not a number two dog. Just like I said, the whole off season. We will see. We will see. Well, guess what? Now we see. We see a lot. Oh, yeah. The first week, only week one, shows a lot, though. <laughs> Can improvements be made? We will see. This we talking about the Vikings, man. We got to be real deal now. <laughs> no faking the funk, man. No pussyfooting it. We're talking about the Vikings with no interior O-line, offense or defensively. We got to be realistic now, man. Of course, you want to pump your team up, give your team the benefit of the, benefit of the doubt because you believe in your team. You're rooting for your team. You want to see them boys win, but you're seeing things clearly, right? <laughs> Super clear, ever clearer, baby. You understand? 100 proof. See right through the BS, man. Tired of it. But Kirk Cousins didn't come up big. Kirk Cousins has no pocket awareness. Even when he gets sacked, yes, the line sucks, give up pressure, but you understand they're blitzing you. At least have pocket awareness on that fumble when he got hit from the blind side. He didn't flinch, try to move, try to step up out in the pocket, try to even start to run around. He has no sense of pressure. What a pressure is coming from, bro. No awareness, bro. He is Kirk Cousins. And when he gets rattled, it's even worse. It's elevated, right? You understand? Kirk Cousins is Kirk Cousins, man. He's making $40 million a year for what? <laughs> Can he ever, has he ever put the team on his shoulders and won a game? No, bro. And he didn't do it today. So what about last season? When the ball went their way, a lot of games. It's a new season, baby. NFL, every year is different. That's why you got to take full advantage of your opportunities, man. But Kirk Cousins, Mr. Primetime, Captain Kirk, <laughs> captain of what? What is he, should he be a captain of the team? When does he lead the team, bro? He can't complete a third down wide open throw to K.J. Osborne. He got outplayed by Baker Mayfield. I will take Baker Mayfield over Kirk Cousins anytime, any day. Oh, yes. Let me reiterate it. I will take Baker Mayfield over Kirk Cousins anytime, any day, man. Heavy. 
Bottom line, no debating. Hands down, man down. Big skull here. <laughs> you let Baker Mayfield outplay you, <laughs> Kirk Cousins? Once again, I don't want to hear about no damn stats. Oh, we had 300-something, 400-something passing, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Empty stats, meaning nothing. Empty stats. <laughs> never a big win. Never a primetime win. A big playoff win. Nothing. Reverting back fourth and eight being Kirk Cousins. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> How does he escape blame? <laughs> He's right there with Kevin O'Connell. That was piss poor by Kirk Cousins. Now, I understand. I understand he's getting hit in the mouth. He's tough. I give him that. But so what? You're durable if you can't win, dog. <laughs> Get the hell out of here with that durability. I don't care. Kirk lacks so much, man. Lacks so much. <laughs> Even his strengths, dog. Not enough for him to win a Super Bowl. I'm still standing on that. Just like the offseason ever since that fourth and eight. And with that being said, speaking of the O-line, guess what? Since, since this is the O-line the Vikings are going with, this trash O-line, this Ed Ingram, Mr. Ezra Cleveland, who walks around looking despondent, head down after missing a block, instead of getting up, shaking it off, moving his fat ass, getting back hype again, he walk around head down, jogging on the field, feeling bad for himself. Get off the field, bruh. I'm tired of seeing Cleveland on the field get dominated. Ed Ingram, too. Sloppy, man. We'll talk about them in a minute. <laughs> Are you kidding me, bro? <laughs> Put Jaron Hall in the game. <laughs> oh, yes. I said it. It's time to start Jaron Hall. So what? What can Kirk do anyway? Kirk can't run. Kirk can't scramble. I don't care if Jaron Hall's a rookie. Put him in the game. What can Kirk do that Jaron Hall can't? <laughs> Jaron Hall at this moment brings more to the table. With that O-line? With that piss poor O-line? Come on, bro. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you really serious? With that O-line, yes. Please start Jaron Hall. I would love to see Jaron Hall start over Kirk Cousins. Jaron Hall give you a better chance of winning. At least he has pocket awareness. He can scramble. <laughs> he can run. Why not give him a chance with the first ring? See how he does. What the hell can Kirk Cousins do against the Eagles? <laughs> you know it's going to be pressure. Blintzes. <laughs> he going to get hit in the mouth. He can't run. <laughs> he can't get away. A lot of this goes on crazy as well. Understanding your personnel. How did you ignore the O-line? How did you ignore the O-line? We'll get into that later. <laughs> and a lot of it is on crazy, right? Knowing your personnel, understanding your personnel, how could they ignore the O-line? <laughs> Once again, how could they ignore the O-line, bro? Especially with Kirk Cousins as your quarterback. <laughs> so with that being said, oh my gosh, it is time for Jaron Hall once again. <laughs> you know, it's just piss poor, man. You're tired of seeing it as a Vikings fan. The same old story from Kirk to the O-line. You understand the weakest link? And then Kirk just sits back does his pressers, makes his faces on the sideline, carries himself nothing like a leader, man, nothing like a leader. Guess what? Maybe Kirk Cousins should start picking his outfits instead of his wife. You understand? How about that? Maybe that should happen, bro. You understand? Kirk's a team captain. You called that a, a leading effort? That performance was the type of a captain, huh? Nowhere near, man. Kirk Cousins hurt the Vikings. Big plays, man. Big third downs, missed throws. Horrible interception before halftime, dog. You understand? Before halftime. Then the Bucks score, et cetera, et cetera, man. It's the same old story with Kirk Cousins. How long does this guy just get, just, you know, get to continue to slide through, escape all criticism? Never held accountable, man. Why? Because he's Kirk Cousins? Because he's the quarterback of the Vikings? Oh, because he seems like a good hot, a good guy, a good human? Come on, bro. Kill that noise. I made a video asking, hey, is Kirk Cousins a quitter or a winner? And once again, he quit. <laughs> he proved what, had, what he has been his whole career, man. A quitter, bro. It's piss poor. No more excuses. Big skull head. I don't care what nobody say about it, man. Fans, nothing. If you don't think Kirk had a bad performance, you don't think he should take any blame 
for this loss, you are delusional, bro. You are delusional, heavy, no debating. Horrible performance by Kirk Cousins. I don't care how many times he was hit, sacked, pressure was on. Listen, man, it would never be perfect, and Kirk should know that by now. You tell me he can't escape the pocket one time, run the ball, get a first down? He's not elite, bro. He is not elite. He's a good quarterback, a good quarterback. Nothing close to elite, period. He can't get out of the pocket to save his life, bro. Come on, bro. QB awareness, trash, no sense of pressure, once again. But that's my take, my opinion on it, man. Let me know how you feel about it. It's time to see Jaron Hall. It's time for the Vikings to start Jaron Hall. That's who I want to see on the field, man. <laughs> Understand? Heavy. Jaron Hall gives you a better chance of winning than Kirk Cousins, especially with the O-line you have, right? Bottom line, bro. Enough is enough. Get Kirk out of here. Skull Vikes, man. Forever.